Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overall series in Kerbal Space Program 1.1.3. In this episode I'm going to explain a sort of transition we're going to do because having done 78, now 79 episodes, uh, I've sort of left behind a lot of people who don't understand exactly what's going on and where we are at, right? There's a lot to catch up on and uh, there are things that I think will optimize the game a little bit better. I've dumped some mods and I think I'm going to dump one more. The, the mods I've dumped uh, probably don't make any difference, we weren't using those anyway. But the one mod that I think would really help if I just eliminated at this point is Remote Tech. Because we've got so much going on and it's causing so much lag that uh, it's actually not as much fun to play right now. We've just got, and I'm going to the tracking station to show you. It's a bit of a controversial choice obviously, but at this point, you know, I can keep track of everything and, I mean, I feel like it's it's not really proving anything at this point. Meanwhile, if we take a look at all our missions and really what the communication situation is, um, well, it doesn't look that bad, but that's because all our probes that are, like, really close uh, still, once they get out there, it's got to be a longer distance, but, yeah. Uh, and, you know, I've actually deleted, you can see we only have 35 active vessels. We used to have 100 just um, uh, at the end of the previous episode. We had 100 active vessels and uh, like 35 pieces of debris or something like that. And uh, I deleted all the old ones. Basically anything that we're not like using right now, I deleted. So that'll help a bit. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about remote tech. I'll get your thoughts about that before I do anything further. But I think... I, I want to start on an episode one where we're going to now go on to things that space programs haven't done before. Now we sort of have done that already with our base around the moon. That's one thing that we've done that other space programs haven't done before. But otherwise most of our activities are within the basic realm of space programs sending probes to other planets. But I want to move beyond that. And to that end I'm going to start the series as Beyond History. And so that'll be the name of the series. And we'll, I'll start it on episode one with explaining what we've got going on and where we're at, and then move on from there. So episode one will be a complete recap of our missions and um, uh, to, uh, look at our space stations and our Kerbals and uh, our ex uh, existing contracts. And then I can move on and hopefully that'll bring more viewers on board because right now it's sort of stagnating, uh, viewership is way down, and I feel like I'm doing people an injustice because, th in a way, uh, there's one fun part in Realism Overhaul. There's the beginning part where you're launching the small rockets, the sounding rockets, and things explode a lot, right? I mean, things go wrong. And I want to move on to the next fun part, really, which is the futuristic stuff, the stuff that we haven't done before, like landing a Kerbal on Mars, or, or you know, any person on Mars, and uh, actually colonizing the moon, and stuff like that. So I feel like we're moving into that phase, and I want to bring people along for that. Um, nothing I'm contemplating is finally making use of KOS. My KOS script is pretty robust now, and um, I think we can start using that to do the missions. Well, do the launches anyway. And then I'll uh, work on other things. Uh, maybe I can make KOS scripts for for other parts of the mission. But for now, I'm just talking about launches. Um, I'm thinking about test flight because it's... I mean, I can keep track of burn time myself. I don't think it's going to have that big an effect at this point. Our engines are pretty darn reliable. Even the NK engines are pretty darn reliable. It's pretty rare that we lose one. And... Yeah, I think maybe it's time to dump it so it's not keeping track of stuff and creating lag during a launch. Another policy change is that I, I'll try not to do explanations like this. I'll try to explain stuff more during the launch instead of like in the VAB. So instead of like being stuck in the VAB talking about our probes, I'll just do it while we're doing the mission. And maybe that'll move things along. Yeah, I think that would be a better idea. So uh, uh, basically this video is to tell you that uh, you will see this series as it's currently titled End and that series begin. And so you need to know that's happening. But also to get your thoughts about what I can and cannot dump. Right? Um, yeah. 
so I'll get your thoughts on remote tech and test flight in particular and we'll see yep so anyway going back out here we'll still have our uh, our main missions here lots of stuff going on and we've got lots of funds we've got lots of science and lots of potential so anyway very short video for you guys but that is what I'm thinking about uh, so the series will be beyond history and I'll get your thoughts. Alright, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.